mic on. There we go. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Sorry for that quick, uh, I think I turned off the stream for like five seconds. If you caught that, I'm so sorry. I just forgot to turn something on, but uh, we're all good now. I hope you guys are doing well. Refresh if you missed it. I I'm glad I caught it right away. We can just delete the YouTube video if anyone is watching of that like two seconds of stream. But yes, hi, good morning. How are you? Ah, oh, it's so good to see you all. It's been a hot minute, but I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, what did you miss? Nothing. We just started. Welcome on in. Uh, all of this. General Mr. Zajak is asking about our high luck drop. So, you know, let's just get right into that part. Am I muted now? I'm not muted now. Oh my gosh. Y'all. This is so embarrassing sometimes. I swear to God, what's going on? I had a different mic set up and then my headset was like, your battery is low. So I couldn't have both plugged in at the same time. It's always an adventure, isn't it? It always is. I'm so sorry. While I'm here, I also have some other fun images to show you. Uh, oh, <laughs> I forgot to take it off. I thought it was below, but it was above. Uh, and <laughs> I'm professional. They pay me to do this, believe it or not. <laughs> Looks like you're having one of those mornings. Honestly, I'm one of those people who like, I'm definitely a, a night owl. So 10 a.m. is always like a, not a struggle, but it's, it's, it's an adventure. Let me tell you. That's, that's okay. Like, honestly, I was like, oh, I'll figure this out. I had it all planned out. And then it just leaves your brain the moment you press this start recording, uh, start streaming button. Eh? That's always how it goes. I have the beautiful Gara Kaleida skin, which was given to me by a very wonderful person. Thank you so much for that. I can't, you know, you'll, you'll pry the Zamario helmet from my cold dead hands because it is incredible, but the skin is so good. Oh my gosh, look at it. But yes, uh, we're going to be playing some Lua. If you checked out your Nightwave this this week you would have seen the halls of ascension so we're gonna go to lua we're gonna do some halls of ascension we're not gonna do my lich this morning i don't think at least not to start but uh yes we'll do that and then hopefully we'll buy some halls of ascension and we'll have some fun anyway uh i saw someone mentioning giveaways that's a great reminder let's do a quick uh 400 puck literally why why are why why is why are things like this i don't know if you heard that but something just fell over so I, I don't know. I, I don't know. There's just, there's no word for anything. I just don't get it. <laughs> oh, they're so far ahead of me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but uh, I listen. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm going to get out of here because I feel like someone is doing something and I don't want to mess it up. But hey. Got him. Amazing. Hey. Give me your head. Oh, shit. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I uh, get to turn in my keys for my old place. I'm officially done moving, so I <laughs> my weekends are no longer like spent cleaning and unpacking boxes, which is fantastic. <laughs> so I have so much more time to play video games again. I'm so excited. Pop. I love the fact that someone's pet is named Seth. Like animals with like human names is just the best. It is just the best. Like hearing someone yell like Frank in a dog park and then just seeing like a tiny little puppy like saunter off over to them. The funniest thing I've ever heard. Like I, there are no words. <laughs> so <laughs> Seth is a fantastic name. Great job. I have two go uh, dogs. <laughs> One is Gary. The other is Trevor. Honestly, Star Drop. That is just the best. I get like, I have no words for how funny that is. <laughs> it brings me so much joy. I love either dogs that are named after um, like humans or I love dogs that are named after food. Like it's always been my goal to have a dog and name it spaghetti. So like, but Trevor for a dog, Gary, oh, P. Cuber, love it. The cast name is Luther, amazing. Is that your weekends now, Taylor? Going down to the dog park to count dogs with human names? Listen, that sounds like a fantastic outing. I don't know what you're talking about. You get to see dogs, you get to go outside and get some fresh air and like, you you know, get to interact with people and socialize a bit in like, you know, distanced way. So I, I you know what, it sounds like a great, Ask. Maybe I'll like ask my parents. They have a dog. They live in the city. Take him to the park. Hang out with old Rosie. You know, been a while since I've seen her. My Dachshund is named Frankie. Fantastic. Fantastic. Socializing. Disgusting. That's true. <laughs> yeah. 
I remember socialization from an old time ago. It's like that, uh, oh, that meme where it's like, back in my day, we, uh, we were able to go outside and talk to people face to face. And it's like, okay, grandma. I saw one for Warframe for the eight year anniversary. I think Primed Average did it actually, uh, a fan artist. And it was like, back in my day, you needed to use keys to access the void. And it was like, a <laughs> it's like, okay, grandma. Let's get you back to the nursing home, all right? <laughs> yeah, fantastic. All right, let's do another one. Oh, right, ribbon. Hate, you know, nothing like it. Maybe not the best, but, you know, I guess, uh, I guess old Samadeus really wants me to have some hate in my life, so there you go. <laughs> it's okay. I remember fusion cores. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a throwback that is. Like having to to decide. Okay. For those who don't remember what fusion cores were, they were like they were like set bundles of endo, I guess. And like so you would have like your blue and I think it was silver and then you'd have gold and like the different fusion cores would have more upgrade value for your mods. And so you would like try to save like any like from going over. Like you could use a gold fusion core to like completely level up a mod, but you'd waste so much of your fusion endo, I guess. Like I don't even know how to explain it without talking about endo now, but goodness, that is a throwback. I definitely remember having those uh <laughs> And like having to plan, like you would like compare to see how much, like to maximize how much you could get out of your fusion cores to like to ensure that you're not just like wasting it. So you would be like, oh, is this enough to just use a blue fusion core? No, I need to use it. I need to use a silver. I need to use my gold. I need to whatever. Remember stamina? I would. That was a little before my time, but uh, I definitely remember hearing about. It. <laughs> first of all, I'd like to know again, Steve, about your huge stamina. <laughs> That's my first question. That's what I think. We got rid of the stamina bar, and that actually. <laughs> got rid of our stamina bars as well when we did that we in Warframe. All water, no. I don't think that's the joke that Sheldon is making. Uh oh. What? Oh! <laughs> Yeah. Yes, we do have huge stamina here. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have the <laughs> Yeah, they changed to endo. It's huge. It's like it's crazy. Even remembering like the old disc star charts for those who were there, like no longer like the the nodes, but it was like like little rings around the planets, and like you had to. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it without showing it to you, but it was it was insane. And and that wasn't even the oldest version of the star chart. <laughs> with the cards around the planet, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and when you had to use keys for the void, yeah, I never went to the void because I didn't like playing solo, and I have a weird aversion to, you know, just recruiting in games in general. If I have to talk to someone to play a game, it's not going to happen. I'm just going to play it by myself. So. <laughs> Remember before Orbiters, man. If you remember before Orbiters, you've been playing this game for so long. That's incredible. I remember only the Earth, the Earth node in front of the orbiter. Oh my gosh, guys, that's just peak nostalgia right there. It's crazy to see some of the old screenshots with Super Jump, of course, the classic go-to that everyone mentions in stamina. But yeah, it would be awesome to have a special stream with the old build. Honestly, I don't even know if that's possible, but um, you know, <laughs> maybe one day. Like if they can come back with vanilla WoW, okay? Like anything is possible. Right. After seeing the demand for older versions of World of Warcraft, Blizzard finally made it possible with the announcement of World of Warcraft Classic. Mm -hmm. It's almost been a decade since Final Fantasy XIV 1.0 launched, and many years since anyone has had a chance to play it. <laughs> Would you ever consider bringing back a limited amount of servers with some version of the 1.x series for players to experience it? <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> My Warframe age. Oh, that's fun. Is fusion cores, void keys, and pre remastered Earth. That is a great. That's a great. Uh, I can't even. Like, I completely forgot that Earth was even remastered. And that was a huge update. There are some really cool before and after comparison shots if you guys wanted to know what the Earth looked like before. Oh boy, I remember like Steve just talking up the, the remaster so much. It was such an incredible change. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Orbital Beetle. I remember when there was no Warframe. All we had was Super Mario and Fun Dip. <laughs> love it. You know, like, Fun Dip is fantastic. It's something I haven't had in a very long time, but we love Fun Dip in this house. <laughs> every every Warframe mission has been hacked. You must now play every mission in dense fog mode. Oh! Also, yeah, the old um, Halloween modes where it was like dense fog and all of the all of the like containers were jack-o'-lantern heads. Ugh, classic, classic. You know, playing raids as well. Loved raids, trials, as one calls them. Fantastic. Definitely broke a lot. I definitely remember playing it through with some people and then being like, okay, so you cannot bring X, Y, and Z because otherwise it'll break this. And make sure you don't use this ability if you do bring this because it will do something bad like it. I love the nostalgia and like okay for me I think the biggest point in Warframe history was like when we actually finally released Excalibur Umbra I remember just like sitting there when we like showed the trailer at a Tenocon to start thinking it was so surreal for their life yours For those who weren't around before Umbra was actually in game, he was like a legend. He was an ongoing joke, like not a joke, but like a meme in the community. Like there's no way he could ever actually be real and you could ever actually have him. And then we added him and I was like, my mind is blown. I, so long, took him so long to get in game and now he's the staple, you know? You just bring out your Umbra and you don't even think about it. But that man's been on a journey, let me tell you. <laughs> Someone, oh, talking about when you can make hybrid pets. Oh. Yes, when Kavats released for the first time, you could like combine a Kavat gene and like a Kubro gene and it was an abomination. It was incredible. You could only do it for a short period of time, but we let you keep your pets because of course we're not gonna not gonna punish them for your creations, but <laughs> Alright, let's do one more. Charging battery. <laughs> I had that's charging. <laughs> Have you heard that? <laughs> This is why you're supposed to charge your headset before you stream, Taylor. Didn't do it. Completely forgot. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. I only have so many uh, USB ports at the front of my PC. And like, I am never, like, I'm not going to like plug something into the back of my C PC if I can help it, you know? Not in this economy. Are you kidding me? That's too much work. So I had my capture card plugged in and something else plugged in and I completely forgot. So. <laughs> Huh, it's fine, it's fine. Flattery, flattery charges the battery, in indeed. Oh, we get to ride the elevator. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I found an old screenshot from December 2013 where I'm MR2. Wow. I love finding old screenshots of like what my accounts looked like that early on because like I definitely remember some of the old fashion frame that I did and like some of the old builds that I did. I think I've talked about this before, but I definitely remember spending all of my fusion cores to upgrade my um, diamond skin because like I didn't understand what any of the words meant, but I thought diamond skin meant that like it had such an impressive name that it had to do something and then you know it's not it's not quite quite as useful as I thought it was but that's okay you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> things have changed but that's all right <laughs> I was afraid of going in missions alone like obviously specters are very useful but I would always bring my specters with me especially if oh hello um especially if <laughs> I knew that like this wasn't a mission that a lot of people were playing on because like I didn't I didn't want to play by myself. <laughs> it's really sad. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I don't know what that noise was. Don't ask me. My PC is just making noises today. Hey, friend, don't do this to me. Make it so that interior for Railjack and Orbiter have different layout of interiors. They do. They do. You can customize the interior of your Railjack. I, I don't really quite understand the question, I'm sorry. <laughs> can I date my deck mech? Why? Why? I, what? Wh why? Why do you come into this chat and ask this question? I need to know what the heck is, like... How do you look at the corn and be like, yes, this is something that I want to go on a date with. <laughs> I, 
I'm so, have I seen Bone? I have seen Bone Widow. I've seen them all. I know exactly what I've seen. And that's why I'm so confused. Stop. Oh, 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 oh. I think this might be, I don't know what's going on, but we're just going to look at the ceiling and pretend that nothing's happening. I'm so sorry. I should stop moving around. Every game is better, made better by smooching, but why the Necromech? is what I'm asking. I don't know if this is related to someone using the internet or not. I am so sorry. Bone Widow is our bone daddy. Chat. Chat! <laughs> Your internet is slower than a snail on the back of a tortoise in a tar pit. Hey! <laughs> Someone's asking, we need a different interior design and decorate interior for real deck. Decorating interiors for real deck, I totally get. Oh yeah, okay, I think this is internet. I I wonder if someone's downloading something. Might have to go talk to my roommate, it's okay. But we're almost done for the day. Yes, but that's everything. That's all, that's all we have for today. It's 11.01 and then I hope you guys have a fantastic Easter weekend. Enjoy all the chocolate, enjoy all the Easter eggs. Enjoy the fun. All right, thanks for watching, bye.